so now if you want to understand what a projection means a projection is nothing uh, like projection is a is the shadow of a vector shadow in the simplest word shadow of vector v1 on v2 okay so this will be the projection of v1 on v2 so if i take a light which is perpendicular to this extended part of v2 let me throw this light then wherever the shadow falls okay the shadowed portion this op this op the length of op is nothing but projection length of op into this vector this v2 cap or the nor or the unit direction of v2 is nothing but projection or this is the component of v1 in this v2 direction okay so now if i have to find the component of v1 in v2 what will i do it will be v1 cos theta into this v2 uh, this v2 v2 cap isn't it so so what is okay it will be this v1 into cos theta this will be this length and the direction is given by v2 cap now what is v2 cap is nothing but v2 vector divided by mod of v2 and this cos theta this cos theta is equal to what is cos theta the v1 dot v2 is equal to mod of v1 mod of v2 cos theta so cos theta is equal to dot product divided by mod v1 mod v2 isn't it so yes so so let me write this is equation 1 this is equation 2 this is projection okay okay so the projection will be equal to let me try to substitute this this cos theta value into this equation then what i get is v1 vector cos theta is v1 dot v2 divided by mod v1 mod v2 into v2 this v2 cap also i am writing it as v2 vector divided by mod of v2 so and this is this is this is mod of v1 cos theta okay it was this is the length this represents a scalar quantity mod v1 mod v1 gets cancelled what i am getting is simply v1 dot v2 divided by mod of v2 square into v2 vector isn't it so or just very important this is very important or in other words this shadow please remember this was mod of v1 why this was mod of v1 because this is this is the length and this is the direction this is the direction and this is the length so that this is this length in this direction is what we got so from length and direction we got the value of cos theta substituted it in the final result we get is that can't i write this mod of v2 square is v2 dot v2 yes i can write so v1 dot v2 divided by v2 dot v2 into v2 vector is what is the projection of this vector onto this vector so just let us find out so instead of going in all this complicacies the simplest thing which we can do is that just take this vector v1 dot v2 is dot product of one comma two and one comma one divided by dot product of the place on which we are taking projection 1 comma 1 1 comma 1 okay and into 1 comma 1 direction okay simply this much so this comes out to be just take the dot product what is the value of this dot product coming out to be uh, 1 Uh, this is one plus two divided by this one 
प्लस वन दिस इज थ्री बाई टू वन प्लस वन वन प्लस टू थ्री एंड वन प्लस प्लस टू टाइम्स वन कॉमा वन तो दिस कम्स आउट टू बी थ्री बाई टू कॉमा थ्री बाई टू तो दिस थ्री बाई टू कॉमा थ्री बाई टू दिस वैक्टर इज द प्रोजेक्शन ऑफ दिस वन कॉमा टू पॉइंट ऑन दिस प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड दिस वट आई एम ट्राइंग टू से तो द वे ऑफ फाइंडिंग द प्रोजेक्शन ऑफ दिस वैक्टर वी वन ऑन दिस स्पेस वी टू इज टू यूज दिस फॉर्मूला वी वन डॉट वी टू अपॉन वी टू डॉट वी टू इन टू वी टू वैक्टर और इन अदर सेंस दिस इज नथिंग दिस दिस पार्ट वॉज नथिंग बट कॉस थीटा दिस वी टू अपॉन दिस वॉज दिस दिस वी टू कैप सो दिस पार्ट लेट मी एक्सप्लेन हाफ पार्ट केम फ्रॉम दिस दिस इज नथिंग दिस इक्वेशन इज इक्वेल टू मॉड वी वन कॉस थीटा इन टू वी टू कैप दिस equation these both terms are equivalent but this is very simple to this is simple and this is difficult to do so we simplified this equation to this equation to find how to project this vector v2 on this in this v this this sorry vector v1 on this v2 we will use this concept of projection in finding how to deal with different types of uh, dimensions and like frequency and, and time okay